Hello everyone and welcome to Darkfall 2 Lights Out. Having just recently completed the first game of the Darkfall series, The Journal, I think it's only right that I move on to the sequel, Lights Out, and give it a try. Now, uh, I'll level with you guys. I've heard mixed things about this game. Some people seem to think that this is really horrible. Some people think it's well worth playing. I'm not entirely sure where I stand, but uh, I suppose I will know very, very soon. Um, what you should know is that, much like the first game, it's going to be a first-person point-and-click adventure game. It's going to be very old school. It's probably not going to be for everyone, honestly. There's probably going to be a load of reading to do, much like the first game, that, uh, that might turn a lot of people off. Um, truth be told, I don't really know what this has got to do with the journal, because... Well, let's put it this way. I don't remember a lighthouse being uh, around the station hotel. <laughs> so, I think we'll be dealing with new locations, maybe new characters, a completely new setting, so um, maybe this is a sort of nice jumping on point for the series. I don't know if it's integral for you to have either played or watched the first game, I'm, I'm just not sure, but it, it probably would help. Either way, this is Darkfall 2, lights out, hope you enjoy it, if you do, let me know, and I'll probably turn this into a series. Here we go. 1912? Wasn't expecting that. Right, okay, so there's a few UI changes, it seems. Oh, we're in already? Okay, I was expecting, like, a big long cutscene like we had, we, uh, we had in the journal. Fair enough. Um, okay, we've already got a lantern. That saves a little job, I suppose. Um, let's just have a little look around, shall we? Okay, so 1912? Yeah, we're certainly not going to be playing as the same character if it's in 1912. Uh, let's have a look. What have we got over here on the bed? Okay, drawing of a, a cottage. We've got ominous music in the background already. What's wrong with this cottage or, or building, whatever it is? What are they? Graves? I don't, I don't know. Okay, got like a book over there. Can't seem to have a look at that. Unless, is it like the other one? Oh, right, yeah, it's like the other one. If something has already been interacted with, you need to, like, close it up, for instance, to have a look at the book. Um, Benjamin Parker? Okay. Okay, well, already it seems a bit of reading to do. April 28th, midnight. The journal from Todde. That's not today, right? That's Todde. Okay, it was painless and dull. Already I missed the scent of heather and prickle of gorse. The Cornish landscape can never compare, being soft and rounded, like the limbs of a newborn. Scotland's Western Isles offered me so much more. The landscape fallen like a corpse out lent. I will return to Todde once my work up here is done. That can never be too soon. Work? This is not work. Just another humiliation. The Academy punishes me for my dreams. Perhaps my father is behind this new trial. I smell his envious mind at work. This coastline has been mapped several times over. Why would they send me here? As a qualified cartographer of the Royal Academy, I am not prepared to devote my time to such a superfluous commission. I've already viewed the maps of this area and studied them during my journey. Uh, okay. Might want to save my voice. I mean, <laughs> this is only the start of the video. I don't know how, how long this is going to go on for, so feel free to pause the video and read this at your leisure. I'll get back to this later on, alright? Or is that it? That might be it. Oh no. Nope, there's more. And Mr. Robert Demarian who I'm meeting with. Sounds like he, or I suppose I, am um, suffering with nightmares. Okay. Sorry, what? Where are we? What? What did I just... Do? Right, maybe I really should have been paying attention to what I was reading, because this... Uh, well, this is sort of caught me off guard a little bit. What the hell? I guess I'm playing through the blank pages instead of reading about them? Uh, uh... Okay, but... Well, I don't... I have no idea what that was, but um, let's just continue reading the book, and uh, I guess maybe I'll get back to that later. 
Right, okay, I may have just been inside Mr. Demerian's house, if that was a memory, which I think it was. <laughs> and that's the end of that. But it's not, because I'm going to have a look at that again. Those blank pages, what the hell was that about? Right. So yeah, clicking on these two birds over here, it seems to send me back and forth. So, <laughs> that's my exit. Right, okay, let's just have a little look around here, shall we? Let's have a look around what seems to be uh, a kitchen, shall we? Okay. So. Um, can't interact with anything here. Can't turn the faucet or anything. No, okay. We got some apples. All right. Something in there? No. Something, aha, something in here, maybe. I like the music already, to be honest. All right. We got slides. Oh, hang on. Want to have a look at those, really? All around the place. Hang on, wait, what was I doing there? Oh, here we go, okay. Right, going through the slides then. Interesting start to the game. Really, I'm I'm very much out of my element. It feels like I really should have paid more attention to what I was uh, what I was reading. You guys probably know more about this than I do if you pause the video and read that. But I think this is uh, Robert Demarian's place. It would make sense, I think. <laughs> okay, lots of slides to go through. Are all these going to be areas that we we get to explore? I guess so. To be honest, I don't want to look at this for too long because it's going to make my eyes feel a little bit strange in a minute, I think. There's the cat. Fisherman's arms, eh? Okay. And there's still more. Paddling at the seaside? I see, okay. Yeah. I've got to be honest, this really isn't meaning too much to me right now. Uh, is it meant to? Am I meant to be this confused at this stage of the game? Because I am. <laughs> the fisherman's arms. Okay. Well, that that building that the, the cat was sitting on it sounds like a sounds like a pub. To be honest, the fisherman's arms. Another rowboat. A lighthouse. Yeah, okay, I think the lighthouse is going to play a pretty big part in this game. Possibly inside of the lighthouse, a spiral staircase. The cat up there, right? This is, right, this is where we started, okay, um, I think I've had enough of that, right. <laughs> Did I learn anything from that? It seems that, much like the first game, we don't have a journal, so... I'll probably be relying on my own recordings and pieces of paper to sort of record my, uh, my findings. But, yeah, okay. So we can't actually take the slides themselves, that's fine. Let's just close that up. Can't take an apple, no, can't take a bowl. That's fine. Nothing on the top shelves. Okay. Got a door there. Uh, got a few doors, actually, out of this room. Let's have a look over here, though. What have we got? Uh, Mr. Demarion, as instructed, I have gathered additional supplies for the week. I trust your guests arrived safely and enjoyed the supper I prepared. I'll return at four o'clock to bake some pasties and begin the evening meal. May I presume that there will be two of you dining this evening? I was able to secure some fine bacon from Jones, the butchers, and will be, and will be collecting a fine fat duckling this very afternoon. Should there be any special requirements, I pray your guest is not one of those heathen veget vegetable areas. <laughs> I would need to know upon arrival. Mrs. Agnew. Oh, and P.S. I must also thank you for the kind words you offered young Beatrice. She has been terribly worried about James out there on the frightful lighthouse, and I do believe you put her mind at rest. For that, I must thank you, kind sir. Right, yeah, this must be Mr. Demerian's place. Hopefully he doesn't mind me poking around a bit. And what exactly is so frightful about the lighthouse? A pasty recipe? Okay, is this important? Do I have to make one myself? Uh, well, thanks. What about the other one? Cream teas, okay. An indulgent version of afternoon tea. Do we want to be indulgent? I'm thinking no. Nope. 
Okay, I'm not taking the ingredients. That's probably a good thing. I don't think I trust my cooking abilities, even in a game. So, if this is what I think it is, in it being a memory, are we going to have many sort of flashbacks in this game? And maybe, maybe I'm playing as another character. Maybe I'm playing as Mr. Demarion himself. I'm not really sure. Right, uh, let's try which door? This door? Let's try this door. Okay. Well, it leads outside. Okay, what we got? Much like last time in the last game, I'm just going to have to go through every single possible screen and just see what I can notice, see what I can interact with. Right, I can go that way, it seems. Um, there's a big axe out here, it seems, so let's go towards the axe. Can I... aha! Uh -huh. I can have a look at it. Can't seem to pick it up, unfortunately. But then what the hell would I be doing with an axe? Not a damn clue, honestly. Let's just back away from that. <laughs> I think I came here to talk, not kill him. Oh, is that a... that might be a, an outside bog, honestly. Must be quite close to the sea. Right, so there's nothing... oh, hang on. Oh, we got the branches up here. Anything that I want to take? Do I want to steal a bird's egg or something? I don't think so. Um, let's go back this way. Let's actually head towards the outhouse. I mean, that was quite a frightful experience coming back in time. <laughs> Maybe I want to use this. Oh, hang on. What's this? Uh, after comparing my previous sketches with the new photographs, I made a startling discovery. The rock has grown. I'm sure of it. What could have such power? It's baffling. I believe there's a force, a power, at work on the island. Perhaps even under the lighthouse itself pushing from the bowels of the earth. Right. Uh, my recent visit to the island was productive. I arrived under the cover of darkness so as not to be seen departing from the harbour. The lighthouse guided me across the sands, but each visit becomes more treacherous. Perhaps it would be better if I employed the services of someone younger, and more adventurous than myself. Of, I just read that, didn't I? So these are the two pieces of paper that I just pulled out of the toilet. Why were they in the toilet in the, to begin with? <laughs> so that means I can't use it? I guess not. Okay. Hang on. What's this? Oh, it's a it's a big wheel. What do I want to do with the big wheel? Not a great deal, apparently. Okay, I think we're probably done here. Let's um let's try one of the other doors, I think. Yeah, let's go back inside. And then I'll have to interact with the <laughs> with the paintings or the drawings to get back to the real world. This is weird as hell. Okay. There's one. Ah. There you go. Alright. Ah. <laughs> Maybe I will be making something. All these ingredients in here. What was that? Okay, there's a few bottles down here. Nice little vent. Hmm. Is that about it? I think so. What about... Alright, oh, you can do the same. We can have a look up here as well. Pestle and mortar? Nope, doesn't look like I want those. Not quite yet, anyway. Devonshire fudge. Yes, please. Oh. Oh no, no. The, the fisherman's arms is rife with gossip. The men chatter like the women folk of this town. Whatever is the world coming to? Then, of course, there is the nature of their prittle prattle, the island. This will never do. I must put a stop to the speculation. The fools know nothing of the events unfolding out there on Fetch Rock. Is that actually... Is that a... Hang on, wait. That's a fu... Oh god, that's like a late game item, it seems. Whatever, um... This is 1912, isn't it? Wait, this is... I think this is a memory from 1912. This is before 1912. Why is there a floppy disk here? The latest item, a square, card-like object, is made from the most curious material. It can bend but not break, yet can be cut or scratched with the most blunt of instruments. It's remarkable. I've seen similar substances made from tree sap and molten materials, but never this smooth or so black. There's a small silvery metal disk placed in the back which turns when a coin is inserted into it. On the front, the words Haddon Industries can be read. Right? Yeah? Remarkable. 
I've searched the business directories and can find no mention of this company. Their title is quite grand, yet I can find no mention. I shall search the archives on my next visit to London. Hmm. Haddon Industries. They may have the answer to the happenings at the Rock. At last, I have a lead. Okay, so maybe this isn't just a, a memory. Maybe that diary that I was reading, Ben's diary, maybe that actually did, like, just sent me back in time. Or forward in time to get the <laughs> the floppy disk. <laughs> I, I don't know. Alright, again I'm going to save my voice and I'll, I'll read this a little later on. A pulse like the devil's heartbeat itself. Looks like some ghostly activity again. Yeah, this definitely feels like a Dark Fall game. It's very strange, but yeah, it does feel like a Dark Fall game. And I think that's where it ends. And we can't take these photographs? No. Hmm, weird. It throbbed in time with the sound and I felt... I don't know, we'll never know. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Okay. Anything else before I leave? Nope. Don't want the cheese. Definitely don't want the pestle and mortar. We've had a look up there. We've had a look down there. Left and right? Left and right isn't actually an option. Not in this place. Um, how do we get back? Oh. There you go. Uh, okay. So, can't go through there. I've had a look around this area, I think. Don't think I'm missing anything. Found a floppy disk. That's so strange. And, I think, back to reality! Benjamin Parker... Who, who, who is that? Is that me? I would think that would be me. But now I've, I've got a floppy disk? How did I pull that out of the memory? I didn't have that before. I... Let's just back away. Step away from the bed. Step away from the bed. <laughs> There's got to be something else we can interact with, right? Maybe something that could make sense of all this? Oh dear. I'm actually hearing the sea and the ships now. I'm hallucinating. Uh, Benjamin Parker, Ariske House, Todd A, Western Isles, Scotland. Well, that matches up with what I've read, I suppose. What have we got in here? Maps. Maps of Cornwall? Okay, yeah, broken up into sections, I see. This is all very cool, actually. Anything else? No. Was it just... Just those two, I think? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, put the lid back on. Can't interact with these. Floppy disk. How am I ever going to use a floppy disk? Unless... Unless I do go... Forward in time? Or maybe I... Maybe I play as several characters in this game. Maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Barely started. I'm, I'm, I'm confused already. Right. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the table over here. Again, it looks like a map of Cornwall. Land's End, right over there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, back away. Anything else? We've got some paintbrushes, maybe? Or some, no, some pens, I think, actually. More maps. Can I interact with these? Apparently not. What's that, paint? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, can't seem to interact with these. Anything under the table? I guess not. We're just backing away. Uh, is that the same thing? Yep. Up here? Okay. Ah. And who is that meant to be? Well, maybe it's me. Maybe that's like a, a selfie? I don't know. A railway map. <laughs> that might have come in more handy for the last game. Oh, so that's excellent. Is this where I am now? And that's... Where I want to be. <laughs> That's where I yearn to be. Maybe. Okay, let's leave the, the map supplies alone and let's try the door. I saw a door. We can leave, right. Oh, blimey. Hi there. Making maps. What's the point? Those sands are always changing. Damarian, he says he knows best, but Damarian? what does he know? Making maps? What's the point? Those sands are always changing. I know that voice. 
But there you go, the fisherman's arms. No cap this time. But right. In that other location, wherever I was, whenever I was. The, day it were built, that lighthouse were wrong. the slides were from this area. Well, right, I guess I got a sneak peek of the area. Let's have a proper look. Foreman and son? Rubens? Wait, where did I come from? Right, okay, so this is my place. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Let's just, uh, let's try the other doors, I guess, and then maybe, I don't know, I really have no idea. Rubens! Grandfather of Lucy? I think this might be where I was before, in the book. No one at home? Okay, let's back away. Uh, Foreman and son. Can we not remove the bar? No, okay. Whispering it were. Came out of the darkness. Up from the depths. I think he's a little bit drunk, to be honest. Nothing else around there? No, okay, let's uh, let's move forward towards this cart. What the hell, what the hell is this? <laughs> now it really doesn't feel like Dark Fall. This is weird. It's so weird that it's kind of good, though. Can I do anything with this? I guess not. Uh, right. I hope they're not trying to hit me with those bottles. What is that? Some drawing of a... A lion or something? Some sort of beast? Can we enter the fisherman's arms? I guess not. We, uh, we don't want to end up like Jonathan out there. So, let's keep going. Or can we go down here? No, we, let's keep going. Looks like a pretty bleak area, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I should go jump back in the book. There's not too much to interact with. It's very, very foggy around here. Let's keep going. Who goes there? Who? Who goes there? Is there someone behind the door? Come closer. Yes. So that I can see you. Come in, Parker. I have a job for you. A job of the utmost urgency. Will you accept it? Well, this is weird. Well, you make it sound so important, so of course, yeah. I am glad of your assistance, Parker. There is a most pressing matter that needs our joint attention. I have not been entirely honest with you with regards to the island known as Fetch Rock. You were right to suspect there is a lighthouse based out at sea, but I could not tell you of it. Okay, why did you mislead me? Or I suspected as much. You're a dishonest man, Demarion. Oh, this is Demarion. I did, well, I did read in his bog that he wanted to find someone younger. Is that someone me? Maybe. Uh, just, yeah, why, why did you mislead me? A mild deception. There is often bad talk of the lighthouse in this town. I did not wish for you to encounter the superstitious nature of some of the townspeople. They could be most unpleasant when Fetch Rock enters conversation. Some believe the island to be cursed or even haunted. Even I now suspect there is more to that island than meets the eye. <laughs> it's so weird just seeing the top lip move a little bit, but I understand why I did that. Um, I do not believe in such things. You can chase this folly on your own. Uh, tell me more, you have piqued my interest, or ha, you talk like a madman. Honestly? You've piqued my interest. The lighthouse was built by myself and men from the town back in 1890 to prevent the loss of life on the Whipside Sands. Over these last 22 years, that lighthouse has claimed more lives and caused more misery than can possibly be imagined by an untroubled man such as yourself. Right. Do not judge me, Demarion. I have seen bad times of my own. Or, indeed, you can trust me to keep an open mind. Yeah, let's stay on his good side, I suppose. I fear that tonight has brought the worst news of all. A ship, the Reboss, passed by Fetch Rock this very night, and observed that the lamp of the lighthouse was not lit. No sign of life nor light was visible from the vessel. The fog is thick tonight, and carries an unnatural chill. The lighthouse keepers would never allow such misadventure as to not warn the passing ships. Right. Well, um, has some misfortune befallen the lighthouse keepers? Or who mans this mysterious lighthouse? Hmm. Well, yeah, who mans it? Oliver Drake, James Wolfe, and Robert Shaw are currently employed to man the lighthouse. Okay. All three men are of sound mind and spirit. You must travel to the lighthouse, 
A small boat has been prepared. You will need a few items from your cottage, which I'm sure will be of use. Search around for them. Once you have them, you will be able to board the vessel and set off on your voyage. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Um, hi hidden? Why the mystery? Or oh, very well. I will play this game of yours, but I do not appreciate riddles. Why the mystery? You get me wrong, young Parker. I only wish to keep our mission secret. There are those in this town who suspect the worst. They must not know of this latest development. Keep to the shadows, and let no one interrupt your business. Now go. The fate of three men may be in your hands. Right. Well, I think we have our mission now, uh, eventually. Um, <laughs> very odd start to the game. Uh, has anyone ever told this guy that he sounds a lot like Nigel Danvers? Or I suppose Nigel doesn't exist yet, does he? Oh, and he's gone. Off to find another floppy disk, maybe. Uh, okay. Let's just back away. I think there was something else over here we could have a look at. Right. There's a cart down here. Anything I want to take with me? Obviously, we've got a, a lot of item slots to fill up before we get to this floppy disk that I picked up. Doesn't look like there's anything down here, though. What's that? Mussels, crab, poachers, winkles, mackerel, cod, bream, scallops, and cockles. Uh, not really into seafood, <laughs> honestly. Not all that stuff. Pilchards. Ooh, I bet that smells lovely. Okay, can we... Yeah, it looks like we can keep going on, so let's just keep going on. You know what I need right now? I need that ghost boy from the first one who was going to give me clues. I mean, I never took any, but, you know, I can ignore him in this game, too. Oh, is that it? Is that the lighthouse? I suppose it must be. Obviously, we need to find a way over there at some point. <laughs> Just keep brushing my cursor over everything on the screen, hoping to find something. There's probably many, many items I've missed already. Uh, if you notice something, please put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do, okay? Alright, okay, we got a uh, we got a boat. I guess I want to go down, yeah? Someone's enjoying themselves over at the Fisherman's Arms. Alright. Oh, cutscene. Both three men dwell upon the island to keep the lamp alight. As we steered under the lead, we caught no glimmer in the night. A passing ship at dawn had brought the news, and quickly we set sail to find out what strange thing might ail the keenness of the deep sea light. We found no sign in any place, and soon again stood face to face before the gaping door, and stole into the room once more as frightened children steal. I though we hunted high and low, and hunted everywhere, of the three men's fate we found no trace of any kind in any place, but a door ajar, and an untouched meal, and an overtoppled chair. We seemed to stand for an endless while, though still no word was said. Three men alive upon the aisle, who thought on the three men dead. I'm taking it that we found all the items we needed from the cottage then? Like the floppy disk? <laughs> so, uh, over to the lighthouse then, right? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, back in control. Let's see. <laughs> you can barely see where we came from. I think it's on the horizon there. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Got a few rocks, so what, this this is Fetch Rock and the Lighthouse then, right? Okay. Right, I'm actually gonna end this video here. Uh, it's ending sooner than I anticipated, to be honest, but... This has been such a strange start to the game. Those books that I didn't really read properly, I think I actually do need to reread them. Properly. And try and figure out exactly what happened when I did look at those blank pages. I, I, maybe there's some clue as to why I've got a floppy disk. Is there time travel in this game? I've got many, many questions. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I think there will be a part two. Um, I, what the hell am I going to do with the floppy disk? Well, seriously. <laughs> Join me back next time where we'll explore Fetch Rock uh, and the lighthouse and see what's going on. See you then.
Okay. Sorry, what? Where are we? Let's actually head towards the outhouse. I mean, that was quite a frightful experience coming back in time. <laughs> the fools know nothing of the events unfolding out there on Fetch Rock. I don't know, we'll never know. <laughs> and that's the end of that, okay.